स्टार्टिंग इन फाइव सेकेंड्स सर आई बैग टू मूव डेट द बिल टू प्रोवाइड फॉर द पेमेंट ऑफ इक्वल रेमोनरेशन टू मैन एंड वुमेन वर्कर्स एंड फॉर द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द ग्राउंड ऑफ सेक्स अगेंस्ट वुमेन इन द मैटर ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड फॉर मैटर्स कनेक्टेड देयर विद और इंसिडेंटल देयर टू बी टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन अ सिग्निफिकेंट मेजर टेकन बाय गवर्नमेंट इन रिसेंट मंथ्स हैज बीन द प्रोमोलगेशन ऑफ द इक्वल रिमोनरेशन ऑर्डिनेंस प्रोवाइडिंग फॉर द पेमेंट ऑफ इक्वल रिमोनरेशन टू मैन एंड वुमेन वर्कर्स एंड फॉर द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन अगेंस्ट वुमेन ऑन द ग्राउंड ऑफ सेक्स इन द मैटर ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड फॉर द अदर कनेक्टेड मैटर्स दिस मेजर इज सिग्निफिकेंट नॉट ओनली बिकॉज इट को इनसाइड विद द इंटरनेशनल वुमेंस ईयर एंड ब्रिंग्स अस फुल्ली इन लाइन विद एक्सेप्टेड इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स बट ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट ब्रिंग्स इमीजिएट रिलीफ टू मिलियंस ऑफ आवर वुमेन फोल्ड एम्प्लॉयड और सीकिंग एम्प्लॉयमेंट एज मोस्ट ऑफ दीज वुमेन बिलोंग टू द वीकर सेक्शंस ऑफ द कम्युनिटी एंड आर largely employed in agriculture and unorganized sector of industry is it only appropriate that this measure was taken on a priority basis as a part of the government's policy of improving the condition of the weaker and exploited sections of the community although we in india have always held our women in high regard and given them a position of importance in society their contribution to the economic life of the community has been fully appreciated but a radical change in attitudes has been brought about by the nation's struggle for independence india women by their active participation in the country's struggle for independence have earned their rightful place in the community and won their legal rights without the need for any aggressive movement their claim for a position of complete equality in law was justified in terms of their significant contribution to the cause of the country freedom it was fully recognized by the founding fathers of the indian republic the indian constitution provide the right of equal opportunity for employed men and women without distinction article 15 of the constitution prohibits any discrimination on grounds of sex and article 39 or our constitution of india and by says is that the state shall direct its polity amongst other things towards securing that there is equal pay for equal work for both men and women india also ratified the international labor organization convention concerning equal remuneration for women the act does not specifically provide that wages to be paid to men and women workers should be equal consequently different rates of wages were laid down in several cases at the time of initial fixation of minimum wages besides there is no restriction on the fixation of different rates of wages for men and women in the sectors not covered as a result of bipartite or tripartite negotiations or arbitration awards could be different for men and women for similar jobs while over the years there has been some narrowing down of the difference in wages of men and women workers wages disparities on grounds of sex still exist in the country even after years of the 
ratification of the international labor organization convention the national commission on labor while noting that the fixation of statutory minimum wages has tended to narrow the gap between men and women observed that wages discrimination between men and women still prevails in certain sector like agriculture and unorganized industry the committee on status of women in india also strongly recommended legislative action in this regard to provide for equal pay for equal work honorable members of this august house have on several occasions expressed their feelings on this matter and have urged immediate and effective remedial action the matter was discussed at the 25th session of the labor ministers conference held in september last year it was unanimously agreed that the states which had not so far implemented fully the international labor organization convention both in letter and spirit should do so by taking appropriate measure to fix wages accordingly to occupations within a period of 3 months by not later than 6 months it was also suggested suggested that statutory provision be made to prevent bipartite agreements fixing different wages rates for men and women workers to give effect to the constitutional provision as well as ensure striker conformity to the international labor organization conversion the equal remuneration ordinance was promulgated by the president it was much needed and overdue measure designed to benefit a large number of women labor and it was felt that any delay in promulgating the ordinance would affect adversely the interests of the women workers it was also felt that it will be in the fitness of things to bring forward this measure to implement the provision of the constitution in the year 2012 which was being celebrated as the international labor year it is proposed to replace the ordinance by an act of parliament so the bill was introduced in the rajya sabha stop